the doctors, and it's the same thing I'm hearing here from Alfred. Uh, just very quickly, because this is our, our last question, the situation at, uh, you know, the biggest referral hospital, that's Kenyatta National. If you could tell us about, um, you know, the situation there right now and what to expect tomorrow. And lastly, answer, you know, what happens to the patients now? Um, a lot of people have support for the nurses and doctors plight, but then there's also patients who need your help. So how are you balancing this issue? As of now, the doctors in KNH actually are on strike and uh, there's a skeletal work that is going on. And, and the nurses? And the, the nurses are not on strike in Kenyatta because they have been they denied their constitutional right to join a union of their, their choice. So actually they feel that they are orphaned. But uh, what I want to emphasize is that we go to school uh, in training to learn how to alleviate pain and suffering. So what we are saying, we as nurses of Kenyatta, if our stay in the hospital and the clinical environment is going to prolong the suffering of Kenyans, then we may be forced to join the other nurses in public interest. And we are sending that message very, very strongly to the government that we are not pleased, we are not happy with what is going on. We cannot just go back, to go to the wards and watch our patients suffer because the doctors are not working. Their theaters are not, are not operating. So just like the doctors, two years, ten years, two months, as long as it takes? As long as it takes. As long as nothing is put, something is not put on the table, Aluta continua. All right, thank you. Alfred Obengo, who's the chair of the National Nurses Association of Kenya, talking to us about the doctors and nurses strike that is ongoing in the country. Let's remind you of our big question tonight. Should the government agree to the doctors' demands? Should the government